Bryant after that rough start in the ball game, the three sacks has maintained his poise and brought his team back to take the lead now. And for Williams, touchdown number six this season. Six on 36 yard drive set up by great special teams coverage. Mark Higgs, blocker in front. Higgs tripped up at the 25 by Ben Smith. What a nice play by Ben Smith coming up and forcing from the corner. He had been out all week with the flu, hadn't practiced until Friday. Maybe got his bell rung a little bit on that one, but watch Ben Smith coming up here from the corner position and staying low and just taking the leg right from out underneath Mark Higgs. Good corner play. Second and five for Miami, trailing by a point after a blown extra point attempt. Keith Byers, a couple of yards. Seth Joyner, his old friend, hangs into the turf, and then a little punch or two thrown. I think that was uh, Ron Heller, the former Eagle, that took a swipe at one of his former teammates. They were all open about the fact that it was going to be a little nasty. You're talking about three of the nastier guys that used to play here in Philadelphia between Byers and Jackson and Ron Heller. And a couple of those guys a little bit upset the fact that Rich Kotite really didn't feel like they would be starters or major contributors to this team. They're trying to prove him dead wrong. Mitchell from the gun on third down. Pass too wide for his intended receiver, Mark Ingram. And boy, it's amazing what a little offense will do for the Philadelphia Eagles emotion defensively. The Eagles defensive line now beginning to get up the field, putting some pressure on Scott Mitchell. A big third down stop. Turn that ball back over to an offense now that uh, has a little momentum on its side. And Sikahema awaits the Hatcher punt. Sails to Sikahema way back at the 20-yard line. Got away from the first man. Up the sideline, Sikahema with blockers. Still on his feet, tripped up at the 45-yard line. 25-yard, Sikahema return. Widener tripped him up. The punt covered 53, but then Sikahema brings it back 25. And the Eagles suddenly have the momentum here in the second quarter. By Sikahema has passed 3,000 yards in punt returns, and his last one, the best, had covered 25 yards. And the New Life Eagles go with Vaughn Hebron in the backfield again. And Ken O'Brien, after three sacks the first two possessions, has hit five of seven passes. Hebron, with a head oh. of steam, bounces off one man, and then is slammed down by Grimsley. And Hollier, wow, what? <laughs> What a hit by John Grimsley, who's coming off rotator cuff surgery in January. Came up and almost took Hebron's head off. Watch the collision between these two. Hebron coming with the counter OT and, oh, man. Oh, he could hear it. <laughs> Didn't knock Hebron down, though. Hollier finally did, though, after a gain of two. Maybe a one and a half, to be exact. Cuts up. He'd be about two yards short of the first down. Jarvis Williams pins him to the turf, but another good run by Vaughn Hebron, who's averaging almost five yards a carry here in the first half. We talked to the offensive coordinator, Zeke Barkowski, of the Philadelphia Eagles yesterday, and he said one thing he's really been emphasizing with his running backs this year is to pay attention to the cutback lanes. Everybody is trying to flow so hard to the strong side on us that there are some big gaps on the back side. That time, Hebron was able to take advantage of it. Play clock was down to two, and O'Brien didn't like something he sees. He'll go to the sideline to confer with the coaching staff, trying to hold on to a one-point lead. Six and a half left, second quarter. Don Shula, in search of that elusive record win, number 325, sees his team trailing by a point, breaking on top 6 nothing, and then seeing uh, Philadelphia gather the momentum. And he may need some luck to get out of here with that win. Third 
down play. O'Brien fakes. Toss is incomplete intended for Joseph. Out of his reach. Brian Cox covering him out of the backfield. And the Eagles will have to punt. There's 73. Lester Holmes, the Eagles' first-round draft choice out of Jackson State, who had been activated only four games prior to today and had played only one play, and that was as a blocking fullback against Dallas, seeing his first action here at guard, replacing Ron Halster. And last year he was the only one double-A player nominated for the Butkus Award, so which Coach I feel like trying to get him in there and find out what he can do. Another beautiful punt by Fiegels. McDuffie with a fair catch at about the 12 and 13 yard line. Fiegels has been on his game today. That one 35 yards, but not the distance that counts. It was the hang time and the fact that it backed the Dolphins up once again. Well, as you know, I'm sure if you're a college football fan or any kind of football fan, one of the great college games in history, one against two, Notre Dame Stadium yesterday, the Irish just holding on 31-24 of that last charge by Charlie Ward and the Seminoles. Meanwhile, Boston College wins its seventh in a row, blanking Pittsburgh 33-0. That sets up the match from South Bend next weekend. Foley against McDougal, Boston College against Notre Dame as the Irish... Their final game of the season, trying to remain unbeaten in number one. They'll have it for you, of course, here on NBC. Mitchell's pass in the flat is complete for a short game. Fryer with the catch and hit immediately by Allen and Waters. Tom, we've talked about the problems that the Eagles' defense has had against the run, but they have been outstanding against the pass. They're number one in the NFC against the pass and second in the NFC with 10 interceptions. They're allowing opposing quarterbacks to only complete less than 50% of their passes. So this secondary, very good for Philadelphia. Toss it to Kirby. Hit in the backfield and driven back with Ben Smith again leading the charge from that cornerback spot. Smith has been playing the run awfully tough today. And Bud Carson told me yesterday that the biggest thing he wanted to see was a chance for this Eagles defense to play with the lead. He said, we've been behind so much since the injury to Randall Cunningham that we've never had a chance to play in front. Well, now they have that opportunity. A tenuous one-point lead for Carson, though, as... The Dolphins face a third and three. That play stopped before it got started. It wasn't a delay of game. I'm not sure what it was. Gordon McCarter will tell us, no doubt. Charge timeout. Philadelphia, number one. 40 second timeout. Could they have possibly had uh, too few men on the field? defensively in any case uh, timeout called by the Eagles just felt like that they didn't have the right people on the field or didn't feel like that uh, it was the appropriate defense so Bud Carson taking a timeout really nothing lost with that big third down play Gordon McCarter said the first timeout but I believe it's the second is it didn't O'Brien call one earlier that'd be right it was interesting when I was talking to Bud Carson yesterday, he said, you know, of all the players, I said, of all the players that left here, which one, which player do you miss the most? And he said, Randall Cunningham. He said, that man <laughs> kept my defense off the field and seemed to always be able to convert on third down. He said, lately we have just been on the field way too much. Of course, the head coach of the Cleveland Browns a few years ago. Not particularly crazy about a few things that Art Modell had to say about him either. Why doesn't that surprise you? Mm. Mitchell from the shotgun. Drills it complete. Keith Jackson with a catch, and the former Eagle has a Dolphin first down. The Eagles came with a big blitz, and Keith Jackson made a nice read and also takes a bow. Just got down enough for the first down, turned around, and Scott Mitchell did a nice job of throwing it away from the defender here so that only Keith Jackson could make the play. What did Keith say yesterday? He knew the boos were going to be coming. He was just going to enjoy the moment. Yeah, he said, hey, if they boo Santa Claus, they're going to boo me too. Still has a uh, condo in Philadelphia. Play action pass. Mitchell going deep down the sideline for Ingram. And he's got it. Ingram spun down at the five-yard line by Ben Smith. There's 